Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Moon Series and as we had on our last episode yesterday, we said this concocted idea that I had this week was to play a brand new team every day on the channel this week because we've not got long left in the Moon Series. Yesterday we featured a Feromosa Speed Swap with Dustman, Necrozma and Kyogre. It was a lot of fun. If you missed that episode and you'd like to check that out, go back up here. I'll put a card in for you so you can check that out before you come into today's episode because remember, at the end of the week, I'm going to be putting a poll up on the channel just to see which teams that we featured this week you'd like to see most of all played next week and maybe some other options as well. But like I said in yesterday's episode, I will just remind you once again, if you've got any cores or any featured teams that you'd like to see played on the channel going into next week, make sure you drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to feature them for you next week on the channel before we go into the Ultra Series, which I'm really looking forward to as well. And let me know, are you guys looking forward to playing the Ultra Series? There's Primals and Mega Pokemon now available. So, today's team, as we're getting into it right now, is going to feature Groudon and Mewtwo. So it is a combination of Pokemon we've seen and we've played before on the channel. We've not played, we've played against it, I should say, but it's very nice to be able to play Mewtwo. It's some Thing that I've wanted to play for a long time on the channel and finally we are getting round to it you know I put a poll out ages ago on the channel asking what cause that you'd like to see it didn't quite win but it was in a very close second place that Mewtwo and a lot of people would like to see it played so hopefully you guys it's paying off today and you enjoyed today's episode so to kind of explain the team as always it is in the description below so you can check it out play it and try it out if you'd like to we've got the Groudon it has got the Groudium Z we've got Mewtwo it has got the Life Orb there we've got Scott Scarf Tapulele, Venusaur complements the Groudon really nicely, we've got the Incineroar and then we've got a Selgo as well. So we've got a team really centered around this psychic terrain. So it's important that we keep it up on the field at all times. It's powering up the Mewtwo. It's giving the Psychic Seed boost to the Selgo. It's preventing any sort of priority attacks, which does conflict a little bit with our Incineroar, but a lot of the time we'll probably not be leading off with Incineroar and watch both games today, we're going to have to be forced into leading off with Incineroar because we'll face something like Lunala Xerneas or something like that, I don't know. But hopefully it'll be a lot of fun regardless. So we'll get into it guys. As always, if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series as well as our guide series, our flinch squad circuit, our stream uploads and everything else that we have on the channel. And also just to remind you, about our guides. I did drop it in yesterday but I have finished our Ultra Series guide so as soon as we got into the Ultra Series those guides will be dropping on the channel for you guys to enjoy and hopefully give you a good head start going into the Ultra Series but as well make sure you do drop a comment down below because I love hearing from you more than anything. I love hearing from you guys and appreciate each and every single comment that I get from you. And uh, just let me know what your thoughts are in general about the game today, the team, teams that you'd like to see played, the Ultra Series, Sword and Shield, anything to do with Pokemon and uh, it'll be great to catch up with you. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent of the episode. If it does, I'll just cut straight to the chase and where we find our first opponent. And we've got our first opponent of the day, so we'll hop straight into Team Preview. And our first opponent today is running a team of Dialga, Kyogre, Mimikyu, Snorlax, Whimsicott and Greninja. So we've got that combination of Dialga and Kyogre here for our opponent. Common core that we've played ourselves on the channel and one that I hold very high fondly to myself but we've got the Mimikyu Snorlax kind of pairing up with that you got a very heavy Trick Room kind of centric team here you can see that the Mimikyu's probably got Trick Room to support the Kyogre and the rest of the call and um, Tailwind potentially on the Whimsicott we've got to watch out for that a little bit but because of the inclusion of Tapu Lele it does disrupt the team quite heavily and then the Greninja there so what do we want to do we definitely need Groudon in this match for the Weather Wards um, but it's what do we want to kind of pair up with everything else. Um, could we go Tapu Lele and Mewtwo? It's not bad. We've got to be a bit careful with that Mimikyu though. That's the, the one big thing that we need to keep in mind. Um, also, Fake Out's not bad if we don't bring Lele up front. Um, I think what we'll do is go Tapu Lele. We'll go... Even if Selgo's not bad, to be honest, as a lead here. Um, but I'm going to go Lele Mewtwo. And then I'm going to bring Groudon, and what do I want is my final one. Um, Venusaur, maybe. Venusaur doesn't do too bad here at all. Da it's not doing much to Dialga. Um, let's go Incineroar and lock in. Ooh, so close, locking in with that last one there. <laughs> 
Hmm. I don't know whether the Venusaur was the better one though. It probably was because it's probably a better switch in to something like Kyogre when the rain's out on the field. So we're going to have to be super, super cautious when we get our weather out onto the field to make sure that the Kyogre's out there as well and then, uh, and then react accordingly. I'm going to see Dialga and Whimsicott come out for my opponent and uh, we'll lead off with Mewtwo and Tapu Lele. Huh. So at least we're going to be able to stop the Whimsicott. I mean, we can't discount that there could be potentially a Trick Room on the Whimsicott. We are going to get the Psychic Terrain up though, which does prevent any sort of prankster abuse from the Whimmy. Um, one of the things we could do is just Moonblast and Moonblast the Dialga in Aurora Sphere. I'm really intrigued to see how much this damage does to the Dialga. We are Life Orb Mewtwo, Modest Mewtwo as well, so I'd imagine it does quite a significant chunk of damage to it. Like the Moonblast should do a decent amount of damage to Dialga in the first place. It's neutral, so I'd imagine what, about 30 to 40 percent, maybe. And then the Aura Sphere, I'm hoping with the Life Orb boost, is enough to take it down. Dialga is a bulky Pokemon, though. So at the end of the day, you've got to kind of you can't expect to always pick up the knockout onto it if that is the case. Okay. Yep, yeah. we're right with that one. Let's see if we're right about this one. Oh, we take it down! Mewtwo for the win! Come on, Mewtwo, we're <laughs> just getting started. We haven't even won and we're already celebrating. It's not the way to go. Grass Whistle? Are you kidding? Come on. What's the accuracy on this thing? I'm sure it's like 60% or something like that. It's ridiculously low accuracy. Puts a Mewtwo to sleep, which is not ideal. And that kind of indicates that it's not... It's definitely not a chlorophyll. It's a chlorophyll whimsical. It's not prankster. Mewtwo being asleep is not ideal for us at all. Um, okay, so let's go. Oh, Snorlax, what are you going to do, my friend? Um, what have we got in the back to deal with this thing? I mean, we've got Intimidate, so we could bring in Incineroar um, and just try and get around this sleep. We'll throw out a Psy Strike into Snorlax. We're taking a turn of sleep here with Mewtwo anyway, but if we can get Incineroar and get an Intimidate off onto the Snorlax, uh, definitely does help. And I want to put off bringing the Groudon in until as late as possible because we want to win this Weather War. We don't want to be switching in. Whimsicott's going to protect here, so that's fine. Um, and the Snorlax is going to... Okay, we're sleeping. We know that. Snorlax, what's Snorlax going to do? <laughs> oh, self-destruct. Okay. <laughs> right, the Intimidate there helps us out massively. Hopefully. Okay, we do take that. <sighs> Just about. Man. That's not ideal. You've got to expect the Kyogre's in the back. So, as long as the Whimsicott's not got Rain Dance, we should win the Weather Wall. Could it be Scarfed Kyogre as well? Potentially. We're going to see the Drizzle here. If Mewtwo can wake up this next turn, though, this side Strike should do a good chunk of damage to this Kyogre. So what we'll do is we will we'll just sack Incineroar here. We'll go for a U-turn into Whimsicott just in case we do get it, in case that Kyogre does protect for whatever reason, expecting maybe the Mewtwo to wake up. I feel like Mewtwo should wake up, though. It does wake up! Come on, Mewtwo! Yes! <laughs> the side Strike, come on. Life Orb in Psychic Terrain. Let's hope we can take it down. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Me too. This is why Me too is legit the best. The best. Okay, gone for the grass whistle into the incineral here, but it's lolly whimsical against the world now. It's going to be fine because we will be able to side strike it. Me too might be able to just pick up every kill on this on against this team Me too. It is the Me too show. And what we'll do is we'll switch into Groudon now uh, and we'll we'll go for that side strike once again. Hopefully that is enough. The unfortunate thing is the recall damage if we do get this off will be enough to pick up Me too. Um but we'll get rid of this rain once and for all Groudon coming in. We'll get the sun up. Can't believe how strong that side strike was. But yeah we do get it here. It, Hopefully it's not Sash Whimsicott. Excellent, Mewtwo taking all the chaos in this first match. It does go down, unfortunately, but Mewtwo, you need and you deserve a rest, my friend. Come back into your Pokeball. And a uh, very good game to my opponent, and a nice one for us to kick off with today. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for us to find our next opponent, and uh, we'll get straight into it. But um, Mewtwo's ridiculous, isn't it? Mewtwo's so strong. Um, the reason I went for Modest, it's weird. I had a conversation with Stu 
oh, a couple of weeks ago now, and he was talking about his new two team. And uh, we got talking about Modest over Timid because for the majority of things in this format, you're going to be outspeeding with Modest anyway. So there's not really any need for the Timid most of the time because the extra buff that you're getting in your special attack really does knock a lot of those um, close knockouts or kind of roll knockouts into guaranteed knockouts especially with the life orb so it's really worthwhile doing um, that so that's why I kind of went with it today we've got our next opponent so we'll hop straight into team proof they are running a team of Lilligant, Sableye, all the shenanigans already Incineroar, Tepifini, Groudon and Xerneas right okay what are we expecting Lilligant is gonna be the thing that does do super good things against Groudon. You're gonna have the Sableye as well with its prankster ability. To be honest though, I feel like I really want to just lead Groudon and Xerneas here uh, with Tapu Lele in the back for the terrain. And do we want Mewtwo? Hmm. I mean the other option here is just Lele Mewtwo again. I definitely think I want to bring Venusaur. I could bring a Selgo here as well. It's also another option. It's a really nice option against um, the Xerneas. But I think with these four, we should be all right. So do I just lead with Mewtwo Lele though again? I feel like I'm gonna and have Venusaur and Groudon in the back. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's lock in. Lock in and get ready. So our opponent locking in as well, so we'll get straight into this next one. Should be a good one. Um, hmm, am I going to regret not leading off with the Venusaur? Or is it just too obvious? It's it's obvious. It's an obvious lead for us, right? So you you would expect my opponent not to lead off with the Groudon, unless they're really desperate to go for the Lilligant lead, um, which we are seeing here. So Lilligant Incineroar coming out for my opponent. Um, and one of the things that I want to try and do now is nuke this Incineral and Moonblast Aurora Sphere into it. Because we should be able to pick up the knockout onto it with a Moonblast Aurora Sphere. Um, and it's such a problem Pokemon for these two because normally you wouldn't be able to deal with it. But having access to two moves that should be able to. I kind of want to dazzle the Gleamers here. <coughs> I want a Dazzling Gleam as well here, but at the same time, I don't know if the Dazzling Gleam will be enough chip onto the Incineroar to put it in range for this Aurora Sphere, so we need to just, we definitely need to guarantee that we get rid of it, because otherwise, it can it can cause me to all sorts of problems. Um, we need to be a little bit careful about the Lilligant going for Sleep Powder as well. Uh, we had Sleep in our last game, we do not want Sleep in this one. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Doesn't that Moonblast did not do enough damage? Oh my gosh, no way. It's a Salt Fest though, and a Quiver Dance. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a Salt Vest in Cinderella. Just goes for a U-turn, so we get off, we get let off quite lightly here, I think. Um, I'd imagine Groudon to come in now. Activate that chlorophyll ability on the Lilligant. Okay, so Assault Vest Incineroar puts us a little bit of a dent in our, in our plan. Um, Lilligant also puts a little bit of a dent dent in our plan as well, uh, especially getting that Quiver Dance off. Um, will it pick up the knockout onto Mewtwo though? That's the big thing. Because one of the things I could do is just go onto Venusaur with Tapu Lele and go for a side strike. The problem is if we do this, and Mewtwo gets taken down here. We could be giving the Xerneas a free Geomancy boost, which we don't really want to be doing. But at the same time, I'm going to go for the Psy Strike, and hopefully Mewtwo is able to just do, do its thing like it did in our last episode. No! <laughs> On call, we don't want to see that. We definitely don't want to see that. Uh, or Sphere, it's going to be into Xenius. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I mean, that's better than nothing. All right, but we don't get uh, Geomancy. Not so good. Okay. I mean, we still got Venusaur, right? We still got Venusaur, so we can put the, the, the Xenius to sleep if we would like to. 
I think we're gonna have to put it to sleep to be honest. Uh, switch in ground on this next turn. Um, I'm not really worried about the Lilligan at the moment. I'm gonna just get ground on onto the field. My opponent's Dell has their Incinemore, so we need to be careful of that. That could come onto the field now. The Xerneas could protect, but there's there's no fake out support at the minute with this Psychic Train on the field. Okay, Moonblast coming out into Venusaur. They'll try and take it down. It makes a lot of sense to do that. Grass Knot coming out and doubling into that slot. Okay, just about take it. Just about take it. And the Lilligant with that... that um, Quiver Dance is causing us loads of issues. Right, okay, I think we need to preserve Groudon for later. Um, really need to try and get rid of this Lilligant. The Grass Knot will take Groudon down, for sure. Um, let's get Lele in, if we can. Oh, this is like, the one thing that I want to do is just Precipice Blades this Xerneas. But I feel like Groudon will probably go down to a plus one grass knot. Although, we are really bulky. We are really bulky. So, we take a plus two Moonblast. So, I'm thinking we might take a plus one grass knot. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Because if we go for the Venusaur, we'll get the, the Precipice Blades off. There's a grass knot. It's going to be into Groudon. Do we take it? Come on, Groudon. Take it, please. No. It's not. It's not what we want to see at all. We need the Xerneas to stay asleep forever. We do get rid... Oh, we could have just preserved Groudon. It would have been our win con. Well, it wouldn't have been our win con, but it would have done us a lot better. Mm, that's just not known our calcs, really. Um, I think Mewtwo's the one now. And we need the Xerneas to stay asleep. The Psy Strike might be enough to take it down. Maybe. Okay, and so now we're going to hit the field. We can sludge bomb that. Get me two in. We just need the Xerneas to stay asleep. If the Xerneas stays asleep, one more turn. One more turn. That's all we need. That is all we need. Right. Do I just do I think I double the Xerneas here anyway. And side strike it. Come on, let's get ourselves out of this hole we've dug for ourselves. Come on, Mewtwo, let's do this. Xerneas, stay asleep. Sleep, little Xerneas. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> it stays asleep. <laughs> I shouldn't get too excited about it. So Sludge Bomb, yeah, and then the Side Strike will definitely get rid of it. Depend on where my opponent goes. Uh, if there's Groudon in the back, I would chase down the Venusaur for sure. <sighs> okay. You turn again. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, chase down the Venusaur. Makes a lot of sense. The Psychic Train ends here. That's perfect for us because... We'll get Lele back in and get the Psychic Train up, which I think it will this turn. And if not, we get one more turn. So there's no no fear about a fake out coming out from the Incineroar. Yeah, there we go. The weirdness does disappear. It's still not over by a long way, um, but mm, is a Dazzling Gleam. This is the question. Is a Dazzling Gleam enough to get the Incineroar from the range that it's at? Which I don't think it is, because... The Moonblast didn't do a lot, like much more than that in the first place. So I'm gonna have to lock in with, yeah, I'm gonna have to lock in with Moonblast onto that slot. Take that down. Side strike the Groudon. Hopefully that does enough for Lele to actually survive, and then get the Moonblast KO onto the Groudon, which should work out. Which should work out. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's see. Not having the access to the fake out here makes things so much easier for us though. I'm confident like Lele takes a precipice blades from this range, like 100%. We're running quite a bulky scoffed Lele. So it will take at least eight precipice blades 
It just depends how much his side strike does. Okay, Groudon protecting. I mean, that's even better because we're going to get the double up into it in the next turn. This should be enough. Okay, in C down. Side strike. Yeah. Mewtwo on a roll doing the business. I mean, like, we do get fortunate with the sleep turn, but you've got to kind of have a little bit of luck sometimes, don't you? See, here's a Moonblast. Let's see how much this does. It does enough, doesn't it? Side Strike would be beautiful if this picked up the knockout and gave me to the perfect end. <laughs> oh, it does as well. Come on, me too. <laughs> me too is just so strong. I love me too so much. I've got so much more of an appreciation after this episode for me too. It's so great. I hope you've enjoyed it today, guys. Good game to my opponent. And uh, that is the second team that we're going to be featuring this week. A bit of a shorter episode today, but uh, just as enjoyable, I hope, for you all as always. But um, yes, this one will be added to the poll for the end of the week. So remember, do keep an eye out for that on Friday when we put all of our teams that we feature this week into a poll for you to guys to vote for for next week to see which ones you'd like to see a little bit more of. Hopefully this one's one of them because it's been a lot of fun today. And we didn't get to feature quite a lot of the, the other bits to the team, you know, the Selgor and things like that. We've still got to, to explore. So let me know in the comment section your thoughts on today's games that we've had and uh, thoughts and everything like that and uh, we'll end it up there guys so i'll just say thank you so much for tuning in have a great day afternoon night whatever time of day it is wherever you are and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye